Hey everybody, Fiasco here today at Epcot to share with you five secret spots within Epcot's World Showcase. These are all places that I feel like people on vacation probably just kind of glaze over. However, use the comment section to play along and let us know if you've been to all five of these places, chances are you are a Walt Disney World regular. And I'm gonna have one honorable mention at some point in this video and if you know what that is too you're definitely a regular so let's go check it out all right so stop number one is going to be in the china pavilion and that is the inside shanghai exhibit located to the left of the reflection show if you're starting to walk into the reflection show and then maybe decide, oh, we're not gonna do this right now and don't go out the main entrance and go out to the left. You would end up here, uh, but the show itself does exit through the gift shop. So you wouldn't see it if you weren't kind of either looking for it or leaving reflections before actually going into the theater. But this is a really cool stop. Definitely if you uh, are interested in the foreign Disney parks, this is a tribute to that. It's going to show you a little snippet of all the different lands in Shanghai Disneyland, as well as the uh, costumes that the cast members there will be wearing in the various lands. So they have like the Toy Story Land cast member costume, Adventure Land, et cetera, et cetera. You can also get a peek at the merchandise they would sell there and uh, a look at the Enchanted Storybook Castle, the castle at Shanghai Disneyland. Uh, my favorite personal part is the mosaics. They have a little sample mosaic of uh, the, the mosaics that are in the storybook castle, but they're much smaller here, the samples are. But I can't wait to get to Shanghai one day and actually see the full scale mosaics because they look really cool, even the small versions here. But let's keep moving on to secret spot number two. Spot number two is the kawaii room right off of the department store in the Japan Pavilion. The department store there is known for being like one of the best stores in the World Showcase. But right there as you're exiting through the back to the left is the kawaii celebrating Japan's cute culture room. Now this room has gone through a variety of changes through the years. So maybe you saw an old version and not the current version. But this one's got a lot of the Japanese popular culture stuff from uh, Ghibli Studio movies to Pokemon, Hello Kitty. You got Tom Nook there. Uh, my favorite part is they have a really cute bathroom uh, with lots of Ghibli Studio stuff and lots of the, the Japanese drinks you can buy inside the actual store itself. But definitely uh, worth checking out and something that like you wouldn't expect to have in a Disney park, but you do. So here at the American Adventure, right behind this sign, here's my honorable mention. And if you knew about this, you are definitely a regular here. But if you walk back here, you'll notice this door with the Club 33 buzzer on it. And that's because this is actually where the Epcot launch for Club 33 is. It's right above here, right above the American Adventure. So comment down below if you knew this. This was the honorable mention. All right, and off to spot number three and perfect example to showcase this spot. Spot number three here. It is pouring right now, big rain cloud in the sky and we are looking for shelter. And where else are we gonna find that shelter? Everybody's probably ducking into stores right now, but we have our secret spot number three. And here it is. right to the left as you walk in Morocco. And look at that. It's pouring rain right now. Everybody's finding stores to duck into, but this place, well, this place is empty. I'm the only one here. And that's why this is our secret spot number three. This is a little museum in Morocco. It has also undergone a variety of changes very recently within the past year, right before the recent closures. But you can still find lots of cool artifacts right here, like it will say circa 2000 for that tea set, 1900 
for this neck pouch. 1950 for this water container. And then they're also celebrating over here. Now this was like um, a little desert race thing where like you're racing through the desert. The car doesn't actually do anything. I thought that's what they were going for when we saw it originally, but it's just to pretend. And they have all this stuff for a, a race. There's the winner's medal there. That's dated for 1997. But yeah, obviously this is a great spot to escape the rain for a little bit because uh, obviously not a lot of people know about this place. As you can see, as we walked in, we're the only one escaping the rain here. Okay, we're walking over right now to spot number four and it's still raining and spot number four is nowhere as good as spot number three for escaping the rain, but it is still a really nice quiet spot. To just kind of relax and enjoy the ambiance of Epcot. So right across this bridge and down that path that we're gonna head there now. So this here actually used to be an old smoking area right between France and UK, but obviously smoking is banned within the park. So it's not that anymore. Uh, before the closures, Disney was liking to use this spot for dessert parties and stuff like that. Uh, but obviously none of that's going on right now. So especially right now, this is just a really nice, quiet spot. Not that we have a lot of crowds right now, but to escape whatever little crowds there are. And just, as you can see exactly what I just said, really taking the ambiance of the World Showcase. Because you just come down here and you have a view of the entire park, really in this big wide open space that nobody really ever occupies. Every once in a while, you will find a few people down here that know what this spot is. But again, for the uh, first time, second time, third time vacationer, you may not even have known this spot existed. So comment down below, how well have you done so far? Did you know about this little spot? Have you known about all the spots so far? Did you know about the honorable mention? Let us know. Are you a WDW regular? And just right on the other side of the bridge, we have our spot number five, our final spot of our five secret spots on Epcot's World Showcase. And I'm gonna do it like this again because I have things I wanna show you on the way to that spot that kind of matter. So here we're going into the UK Pavilion. Get your fish and chips over here to the right. Rose and Crown right past it. And one thing I really wanted to plug about the UK Pavilion is how many stores you have here. There's so many stores, so many cool shops to visit. And right here to the left is where you would find a lot of your meet and greets. And they do do some socially distanced meet and greets here. But the area I'm going to show you is where you're going to find some really cool one on one socially distanced meet and greets right now. So. The reason I wanted to walk through here like this is to kind of showcase how many stores they have, even though not all of them are currently open. So we have one here, we have the tea store. We have the sportsman shop, which actually connects all the way through and is about four stores in total as you walk through the whole thing. We have the, the queen's table here. The toy soldier over there, another little toy shop right there. There's just a ton of stores. Uh, Lords and ladies, you're going to find perfumes and Dooney and Burks and stuff there. But as you can see, they only have a couple of the stores actually open currently. Now, why that's relevant is as you can see, the crowd really disperses as I walk through that street. To the point where we only actually have a couple people in the courtyard. Normally, there's live music playing here all the time, but much less now uh, with reduced capacity. But what they do have here that they never had before, so you probably know about this spot. I'm sure most people probably know about this spot if you've even been to Epcot before, because as walking through the showcase, you probably always heard the live bands playing music. But it's different now. 
because what they have here in this gazebo is they'll have Alice, they'll have Mary Poppins, and they'll come out and they'll do a socially distanced meet and greet. And every time that I've had this happen, I was one of maybe three people there to experience it. So I was able to have a really cool one-on-one -on -one interaction that you're really not gonna always get unless you wait in line for a character meet, which right now they're not doing. So this is definitely a place worth scoping out and relaxing at for a while and maybe seeing somebody come by and having a really cool interaction. All right, everyone, that is gonna round out our five secret locations in Epcot World Showcase. Let us know down in the comments below how you did. Did you know about all these places, including the honorable mention? Was there one or two that maybe were new to you? And also, if you're just about to plan a vacation or check out all these secret locations we just covered in this video, let our experts at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com help you plan that vacation. All that information will be in the description below. It costs you nothing extra and you can really get the most out of your trip planning there. So until next time, thanks so much for joining us for this video and I'll see you in the next one.